found something. Buenos Aires International Airport this morning. Now watch this. Harold. Trail ends at the airport, but turns out that a top Providence operative owns a vineyard in the area. Don Yates, of infamous New York law firm Morgan Yates and Cohn. And get this, it's hosting his retirement party today. She's infiltrated them. She's sending a message. She needs my help. Could have fooled me. You don't know her. Anyway, if you're going after her, you'll need to deal with the Herald. Her name's Tamara Vidal, former CIA asset and political firebrand. She's a master of surveillance and the Constant's most trusted aide. She'll have eyes everywhere. You won't get far as long as she's in the game. Why are you telling me this? I thought you were out. Yeah. Old habits, I guess. Anyway, I... I need to go. See you around, 47. No, you won't. All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the final mission in our Hitman 3 run-through of the Silent Assassin suit only on Master Difficulty. We got Mendoza and Carpathian Mountains in one video just because these were actually short, so I'm going to put these in one video here. Uh, now for this target here, what you want to do is... you you want to run into her before she finishes her conversation and you want to drop a coin at the same time that's where she stops uh, it might take you a, l a couple tries to perfect it down but if you do it right you can easily take her out after you throw the coin over the truck and all the t everyone turns around you can easily take her down with the lethal poison syringe and that's one target eliminated. Now for whatever reason, I don't know if this is on Master Difficulty or not, that all the NPCs are in different locations or anything. Uh, for you, uh, it might be different for you if you play it on Professional or even Master. Uh, it should work out just fine. But for me, I actually had to wait longer to take out uh, Don Yates. I don't know why. Uh, I did everything right and perfected it, and he was always still in a bad location. So, I make a save right there because this, recording this, trying to figure all this out, and why it was going the way that it was, it took over like an hour, or around 50 so minutes to do fully, so I condensed it down to where we actually do get it. And... You just want to follow the path that I do, and uh, you can easily take him out. Usually he's supposed to be sitting down with his wife at the table, and you can easily take him out whenever he gets up and shoot him in the head. But for me, he wasn't there. He was somewhere else entirely. So I had to wait a longer time, I think around three to four minutes extra, to actually take him out. So for you, it, you might shave off quite a bit of time if you do this way. But for me, I actually had to wait, unfortunately. Uh, but we're going to get on top of his uh, house here. We're going to go through the attic and go down t in his bathroom. And usually for you, he should be sitting down right there. But for me, he wasn't. He was uh, just coming down the stairs. So maybe I just missed him. My timing was down. But... <clears throat> We have to wait for him to do his whole routine to come back up the stairs. So, that sucked. But right now I'm just messing around because I know I have uh, quite a bit of time to shave off. Uh, but you want to make your way down this ladder here. I did try to get this lethal poison uh, that's in the bathroom and poison the drink. But it's actually uh, the drink for his wife. So, I accidentally killed her unfortunately <laughs> so I had to go back and do it uh, but you also want to get those keys there because we're going to take the exit right out uh, the house but as you see six minutes in finally they're heading their way back up and I actually take out um, his wife and just put her in the closet just because I don't want her seeing the body or anything like that I want to be extra safe because 
I was getting a little bit irritated at this point. So I take her out, get behind the bed again, and he should be making his way up the stairs. Once he is standing still, we're going to shoot him in the head and put him in the closet as well. And we're actually going to make the quick exit for his car. And the Mendoza level is finished. Uh, the only reason that a lot of people probably make this one of the harder ones before they figured out they can do that lethal poison syringe on Tamara is because you really can't take out Tamara all that easily so, uh, suit only until they figured out that method to use the syringe on her but with that method and uh, taking out Don Yates it's actually a fairly easy mission to be honest I didn't really run into any cameras on this level either <clears throat> but his car is down here and if your timing's way better than mine not around seven minutes probably around like three minutes you can just go ahead and uh, slowly crouch walk towards the exit but for me I actually had to wait because the lawyer with the documents is at the gate so I have to wait even more time to get to this exit but once he finally comes through, we can finally leave the mission. Uh, I don't know if uh, timing and AI placement is different on Master Difficulties. I don't know. Uh, so once everybody has their back turned to you, just go ahead and crouch walk to the exit. Uh, you should be good to go. No worries there. And uh, that's it for this one. On uh, Mendoza, I'll let the custom play and I'll come back with you guys for Carpathian Mountains. It is possible for a Silent Assassin suit only on that one and I'll show you how. How did you know? Your deal. That kind of power always comes with a price. What's yours? I think you know. I am sorry. This is a necessary evil. What have you done? Ether Brand's neurotoxin, transposed by touch. See, Edwards learns by his mistakes, 47. And as you've clearly demonstrated, brute force is futile. It had to be me. It was the only way. To get this close. My family. I know what you did. After all these years, I finally know. I am sorry. You didn't have a choice. I did. Providence used you, but I'm no better. All I saw was a blank slate, a weapon to wield. I told myself it was what you needed, but people aren't meant to be controlled. This is a kindness. Goodbye, Agent. We are here with Carpathian Mountains, Mountains, and uh, whew, I hate this mission. I really do. Just because of how linear and tight this map is in this train, it, it's, ooh, I hate it so much. Uh, but you can do it, Silent Assassin, and suit only, on Master Difficulty 2. That was the difficult part on Master Difficulty, when we get to the people in the suits. That was the hard part. Um, everything else, not really too hard. It's just a simple, easy 
route to get through these guys here. And as you see, I get hit, uh, but you're you're okay. Uh, you just there's just one path for you guys to go through to get through these little sections here. Make sure you pick up that rusty nail as well. And <clears throat> sorry, uh, and just keep following the route that I did. When we get to the people in the suits, like all the doctors and stuff. I think they're doctors, I don't know who they are. Uh, that's when it gets a little bit tricky because of it being on master difficulty and um, you being in your suit, you can't just, you know, freely walk. It, it gets a little challenging, but uh, I actually figured out how to do it. And uh, I'm surprised that it worked because I was getting very irritated on this level and made me hate the level even more because Io made this the last mission in the trilogy and they made it a linear level and on a train where it's a tight ass space. I hated it. I really did. Uh, besides doing the deluxe escalation on this map and completing the challenges for it, I never go back to this map. Never, ever, ever. Besides doing this video and recording for this, I will never go back to this map. Because <clears throat> I know they're not going to have no elusive target or anything for it. So, it's just one of those maps. It's one of the worst maps in the trilogy, in my opinion. It's not worse or... It's not more worse than Colorado, though. I, I cannot stand Colorado, but this is probably the second worst map in the trilogy maybe maybe but uh, again through these guys here you, if you just use the uh, the fuses you can easily take get through these guys and you just want to run your way through and for this first section with all these guards you want to take out the very last one here and hide his body because sometimes he can see you through the door when we take out the captain so it's good just to go ahead and take them out. Don't worry about being spotted there. You have enough time and enough distance. Um, but we're going to take out the captain now whenever this guy leaves. And we're going to hide his body as well. And you want to take him out with the crowbar. Because if you just regularly subdue him, for whatever reason, he hears that. But he doesn't hear the loud crowbar. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but we're going to take everything in here the rusty crowbar and the hammer and, and the uh, screwdriver and make sure you use your rusty nail on this other fuse so we can get by these guys here and just use the fuse on this generator and you want to make your way through as you run don't stop don't hit nobody and uh, we're good on that part but this next section is going to be a little crazy. <coughs> but uh, this guy here, if he, if you're good on timing, you should be able to just walk up and regularly take him out, hide him in the bathroom, and just do your best to try to make sure his body doesn't get spotted. Now, for this section up here, it was very, very difficult because Master Difficulty, they can see you easily. The way I did this was a peekaboo method. Make sure he comes to me, and he's gonna come right to, towards me. And I try taking him out here, but the lady, of course, seen. So we're actually going to wait until he comes all the way back. And I don't know how this worked. It should work for you guys. If not, just make a save right here if you haven't used one, and you can test it out. And once he turns around, we're actually just gonna follow him back. And somehow this worked for me, so it, it could work for you. I haven't done it many, many times. It should work. So just take your time. Let him make his way back. Make sure you stay away from the other NPCs. And once he finally stops, we're actually going to take him out. Not with the screwdriver, though. You want to see if you can subdue him before he fully turns all the way around. Otherwise, you're going to get spotted. And I was for sure thought he was going to see that body, but he didn't. So I dragged him... Uh, to a close enough spot where he's out of his line of sight. Now we got these three civilians, and I take her out easily with a soda can. 
that's how you can get by her on Master Difficulty. Now you have these last two. This can be tricky. And I tried to do it different kind of kind of ways where I took out the guy here and then before she could spot him or see me, try to throw something at her, but she has she's an unconscious witness. So that's obviously not gonna work. No. What I do is I throw the screwdriver in the back corner where she can go check that out. And once she checks it out, this is when we want to take out the guy by throwing a uh, non-lethal object at him. And then you want to quickly throw something else at her. And you can finally breathe. You done it. You made it through. I'm glad I made it through. And we just gotta worry about the target. But thank you guys so much for watching all of the videos from Hitman 1 to Hitman 3 main missions Sound Assassin suit only on Master Difficulty it was a fun one it was really fun to do and uh, I'm gonna take a little bit of a break now from playing Hitman 3 we'll come back for the elusive targets of course and after a little bit of a break we'll come back and do Patient Zero the special assignments and any bonus missions that they might have and then we have everything done in the hitman trilogy besides the elusive targets which we'll always come back for and uh that'll be fun so thank you guys so much for enjoying the series i had fun playing it it was also a really good goal for me to do this but i'm gonna let the cutscene play i'll see you guys next time level of international finance continues as Milton Fitzpatrick CEO Alexander Fannin joins the president of Hamden Oil, while the new sound of Jimmy Quinn and Jack Adelaide steps down. It's been a long time, Agent 47. That's not who I am anymore. The pact is done. The past. Death. And yet, here you are. I choose this path because I can. There will always be people like them. So there will always be people like us. No one is untouchable. It's good to be back. Chase money. <laughs>